Welcome back to Diva Doll Flawless. In today's video, I just wanted to share my storage solution for my new Silhouette Portrait 3. I wanted something that was going to fit within my office already. I didn't want to have to worry about rearranging things because you know you get a new machine. That means it's going to have other accessories, mats, and everything else. I wanted a one-stop shop. <laughs> for the new machine. And the best part about it is if I decide to get a second or third machine, they can still fit on top of this. This is the Lexington three tier rolling cart. And then what you see the portrait sitting on top of is the Lexington cart topper. I love these carts. So I was very happy to know that this oldie but goodie is going to work for this new machine that I have. Now, the other good thing is that not only does it fit on top, but you can actually fit the portrait inside of the shelf. Now, if you didn't want to get a cart topper, you could just put the shelves on upside down, but then that's going to pretty much take up storage space. I want to be able to store the machine on it and utilize the storage within the cart. So I do know that you can flip these upside down, but it would de defeat the purpose of me, you know, using the fullness of this cart okay it's not a big cart at all so on the first tier I have my silhouette portrait 3 user manual my power cord my USB cord and if I wanted to write up different pre-cut settings or anything like that I can store all of that within this tier and then put the topper on it so you really are getting a lot of bang for your buck when it comes to these cards. And I have so many of them that I utilize for different reasons. I just, I love these cards so much. On the second tier, I have my mats and you know, the video speaks for itself. The mats lay flat. I don't have to worry about them bending. I didn't want to hang them on the cart. I really don't think on this particular cart, I'll have anything hanging. If you have like metal clips, you can always put them on here. I have metal, uh, these little circular metal magnetic trays from the Dollar Tree on my other carts. And I didn't want that for this one. I wanted everything to fit within the tiers of this cart and then on the last tier i just have any little writing accessories that i'm going to be using you know if you have your vinyl weeding tools your spatulas all of that can fit within this these are my pen adapters and then i just cut off the instructions and description off of the packaging and left it with that so if i need to reference it i have it all in the same spot as far as the Cricut, uh, the Cricut, Lord, <laughs> I am a current Cricut user, so I'm still adjusting to saying silhouette, so excuse me. <laughs> the silhouette sketch pens, I just utilized the packaging, waste not, want not, right? So I just clipped off the top, trimmed around it, and kept the pins in their original packaging. The caddy that you see is from the Target Dollar Spot. And it's just housing all of my blades. The blades that you're seeing are the newest blades from Silhouette and they are manual blades. I've already filmed a tutorial with one and I need to just finish getting that up, up edited so I can get it uploaded. <laughs> But that's where my blades are. So on the right, those are current blades I'm using. And then on the left are backup blades for the machine. And then inside of that little Cricut package are more pins that I'll be using and then that's just my Cricut spatula and I don't know if I said it or not but the little plastic bins they are from Michaels as well as the cart and the topper if you're not familiar with this cart which I know a lot of us are so that's it I absolutely love this I love the cart it's so beautiful matches my offices and I really couldn't ask for more hopefully you saw something that inspired you please be sure to comment like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video have a gorgeous day doll smooches Mwah. bye